Welcome back to the 2022 Ohio Valley Conference Football Media Day presented by Delta Dental. Eastern Illinois, I got my blue on it. It's going to be a lot of blue in the building today. Eastern Illinois joins us. Chris Wilkerson, defensive end Jordan Miles, Isaiah Hill. They switched on me, so if I, you guys just feel free to correct me. Coach is first year here, so he can't correct the old guy that's been around. I'll just, just tease it. Chris, welcome. Appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's go back to um, you're settled in for a Chicago winner, and then you get a phone call from Tom Michael, and I'll let you pick it up from there. Yeah, no, uh, obviously play, I haven't played at Eastern Illinois 90 through 94 and then gotten into my coaching career right away in 95 through 2002. Um, I've been out and about and, you know, 20 years been around from uh, Charleston to the West Coast to the Northeast and then back at the University of Chicago for the last nine years. Um, wasn't something that I was certainly expecting, yeah. but with the departure of Coach Cushing, I had an amazing opportunity presented itself and I couldn't be more thrilled to be home. So, um, so how, it's just been an awesome journey. Uh, how quickly did the... Uh, decision go with your family to make that move? Uh, it, it didn't take very long, let's put it that way. We, uh, <laughs> it was a short discussion. Help me understand, uh, you know, we talk about it, those of us talk about it in the media, but uh, there's something special about your alma mater. There's, there's just something inherent there. Kind of talk about your, your, your journey and kind of your emotions and sure. feelings about that. Well, much like Jordan, I'm from Indianapolis, so I'm a Midwest native, and from the time I set foot on campus in the fall of uh, 1990, um, I fell in love with the people. You know, they're just authentic and genuine and caring. Uh, and Eastern was an amazing place for me. It gave me an opportunity to receive my education. I met my wife there. I got married right on campus. Uh, I got my start in my profession. Coach Spoo was like a, a father to me, and, and um, I just learned a ton. And um, it, it's a place that's given so much to me, transformed, impacted, and, and enriched so many lives that it's an opportunity for me to pay it back um, and to help transform, enrich, and impact these guys' lives. So I'm looking forward to it. I will get back to you in just a moment. Isaiah. Yes, sir. Walking into O'Brien Field. Yeah. The Banners, yeah. Romo, yeah. Mike Shanahan, John Payton. Mm -hmm. Talk about what that means to you. I mean, it means everything, you know. Uh, coming from like being a small school guy it just gives you that hope. You know, everybody who plays college football, like most of us, we have that dream of you know playing in the NFL, playing at the next level. So just coming in every day and seeing those guys, they did it. You know, it just gives us all hope that we can do it ourselves too. And I'm going to uh, cheat and pass that on to you too, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about? I mean, those are some impressive folks. Yeah. yeah that, so. that have been that have been before you. Yeah, most definitely. So, same as he said, you know, it's always great to see, you know, people succeed from this level, and not only from this level but this program. So, you know, it's most definitely an honor to play for this program, and it most definitely gives us hope to make it to the next level. Coach, you arrive in in Charleston. What's the first order of business? Getting to know these guys. Uh, and that's the most important thing. They've been so resilient, you know, having to deal with a global pandemic and a ton of other stuff over the last couple of years. Uh, two coaches, in some cases, three coaches, but just getting to know them and trying to give them an opportunity to be successful. So connecting and communicating and building relationships and trust with these guys, they are the most important part of our program. So every day it's about them. Isaiah, what's uh, what's winter and spring workouts been like and how tough has yeah. this guy to your right been? Man, Coach Will, I mean, he's brought a lot of energy to our program. That's what I can say. That was my first impression of him. When I first met Will, he was cracking jokes, uh, just making everybody laugh. So he always brings energy to the room. And, you know, winter workouts, they've been, they've been super hard. We've been tough, uh, working hard, conditioning, and, you know. Jordan, you've been around this league a little longer than, than the other two to your right. So kind of talk a little bit about your experience so far in this league and kind of what you're helping some of those that haven't been around long enough with expectations. Yeah, yeah so it, it's most definitely, you know, different having, you know, players come in and everybody be new. Um, but as you know, they they played at different levels, you know, and they've also coached at different levels, Coach Book. Uh, but they come in with different energy. So it's kind of a trade off, you know. I teach them some things, they teach me some things that they learn from other places and you know, that just helps it grow as a whole. You helped me out with my next question because all of us in the media want to talk about, well, what's Chris Wilkerson? What's what's this team going to be like? What's his stamp? What's his identity? Yeah. Help me with that question. Improved. Uh, and we're going to play with a great deal of pride. I mean, these guys know that uh, at Eastern. It's, it's part of our DNA. It's about a toughness and a hard hat and lunch pail mentality. And right now, we're just focusing on the process, trying to get better every single day. They've got the rest of this week of training. They get one week off to decompress. Yes, and then we'll report for camp on Sunday, July 31st, first practice Monday, August 1st, and 
hey, be ready to go uh, Thursday, September 1st up in Decal. Wow, it's hard to believe it is. It is. Northern Illinois, Eastern Illinois to open mm -hmm. the season. Talk a little bit about the rest of that schedule. Uh, again, your indoctrination into the OVC. Certainly. So, obviously, going up to DeKalb is a great opportunity to play against defending MAC champions in yep. Northern Illinois. And then UTC making a return trip to Charleston in our home opener mm -hmm. on September 10th, our rivalry game against the Redbirds in Normal. Um, and then we start the OVC schedule. And, and obviously, it's an amazing league, top to bottom, extremely well coached teams, a uh, ton of talent, a lot of returning people. Uh, it's changed a little bit in the 20 years that I've been gone. I can remember the days of you know, Roy Kidd in Eastern Kentucky and Boots Donnelly in Middle Tennessee State and Jacksonville State, but now Martin's obviously on the top of the mountain. Um, they're the gold standard this year. SEMO's got an Eastern alum on their staff. Had some great rivalries with Tennessee Tech and Tennessee State, and certainly geographically looking forward to Lindenwood being so close. So exciting. Yeah, great, great, great point there. Isaiah, the, the injuries. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let's talk a little bit about that and, yes, and just. If you can just kind of articulate the frustration, no yeah. doubt you've experienced. Yeah, you know, um, it was just heartbreaking to to be in my one of my uh, most important seasons and to tear my Achilles right before our first spring game. Like, it was heartbreaking, definitely heartbreaking feeling. And then not being able to play in over half the fall season, it was just just killed me. I just remember all them nights, me, you know, sitting in my room, just asking God why it had to be me. But, you know, I just, I thought I was going to be done with football. Like, I didn't think I'd make it back. But, you know, it just took a lot of prayer, a lot of belief in, in my Lord and Savior, and, you know, to keep me going. And, you know, by the grace of God, I was able to find a good surgeon to get my Achilles back right. And, you know, I was back running full speed and everything within four months. So I can't thank nobody but God for that. You know, with all due respect, broken fingers, things like yeah. that, but Achilles yeah. is, is pretty, is pretty yeah. powerful. Yeah. It is. Congratulations to you. Yeah. All right. I asked Coach about identity, so I got to ask you the same thing about a defensive identity. What can we expect from you this season? Oh man, our <laughs> defensive identity, not only me personally, but as a team as a whole, we're just looking forward to be relentless, you know, straight to the ball. Uh, all 11 guys, you know, we're just looking for a hard hitting team and we're looking to shock the world. What has scheme been like? Has it been somewhat of a dramatic change? Since coach arrived, got to take us through what spring practice was like. <laughs> Certainly a lot of adjustments. Yeah, happened. yeah. So most definitely, we uh, basically changed almost all of our, you know, defensive coaches. Um, but our linebackers coach became our D coordinator, so it kind of just transitioned to the same, you know. And we're all just looking forward to do the same thing that we did last year and put up the same stats. So how quickly did it take you to acclimate back to Charleston, Mattoon, that area? Or did it take a second as, oh, it, as it, a kid it didn't say take very nowadays? Long. Right? Uh, you know, again, it, some of the things have changed, uh, but, but the most important thing, the people haven't changed. The, the authentic, caring, genuine nature of the people in the community and some of the relationships that we had. No, it's been awesome. How much uh, do you plan on uh, being out in the community? How much is a part of that of the job description? Oh, yeah. The other duties as assigned part of a job description and taking these brilliant young men with you? Oh, these guys are two of the best and they have been outstanding members of not only our team and our family and our university and our department, but of our community. Uh, they go out and they read weekly at the elementary schools. You know, they help when uh, Ray McElroy comes back at a nine year NFL career and has his uh, pro football camp at O'Brien Stadium with kids from the uh, Central Illinois region. We're out and about as much as we possibly can. Um, Cole Hoover, our offensive line GA who played at Eastern, uh, is a guy that kind of coordinates a lot of our community service involvement. And, and these guys do a phenomenal job. Um, and then they're, and they're authentic, authentic about it. I mean, again, for them, it's about paying it forward and continuing to give back to others that are um, maybe not quite as blessed as they are. In making the move and the transfer, yeah. kind of talk through what your thought process was. Um, you know, I just just transferring from South Dakota State to Eastern. You know, I just you know I just felt it was a better opportunity. There would be a, a better opportunity for me here at Eastern than it was at South Dakota State. You know, I love everybody over there, all my coaches and everything, but. You know, the coaches, uh, I'll never forget my uh, old wide receiver coach, Coach Fillmore. Um, he brought me in and, you know, it's, he gave me the opportunity to do what I love to do best. So I just can't thank him. I can't thank him more for that. All right, we often use these tags and we're going to use it with you, Jordan. L leader, you okay with that? How do you embrace that? Uh, yeah. Do you think it needs to be spread around? <laughs> I'm to give you your feeling on that. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's uh, perfectly fine. You know, I feel like everybody on the team is a leader in their own way, you know, and I feel like everybody has their own type of way to lead. And I feel like everybody on the team knows that. And that's kind of what makes our team unique. It's not, you know, we have 
four captains, three captains. It's everybody's a captain in their own way. Everybody's gonna pick somebody up when somebody's down. So really, that's what you could expect from the whole team whenever you see us come out this season. Kind of curious about putting your staff together since it was January and you had to make those changes. Uh, how difficult was it? Really, you've been around the game a long time, Certainly. so there's those contacts there. No, it, it, it's an amazing group of people. We've been really fortunate to assemble. Um, you know, again, a lot of connections to Eastern Illinois, whether it's our defensive coordinator who also played there, Adam Gristick, um, whether it's our corners coach, DJ Bland, who also played on those Garoppolo teams, whether it's our offensive line, uh, GA Cole Hoover, um, whether it's our Foxes coach who happened to have uh, gotten his master's at Eastern and gone off and come back, or our special teams coordinator, associate head coach, wide receivers coach, Kyle Derrickson, whose mom and dad were Eastern graduates and his dad played basketball there in the 70s. But there's a ton of people there that um, understand Charleston and Eastern and our tradition. Um, but most importantly, they are just amazing people. And they know that the task that they have been, um, the most important thing for them right now is building those relationships and connecting with our players. And they've done a phenomenal job with that so far. Well, congratulations to all three of you. You're undefeated. <laughs> Say that in a kind of sarcastic way to everybody. Welcome to the Ohio Valley Conference, Coach. We, we look forward to meeting you more and see, seeing you more. An elevator at O'Brien Field, it works okay, right? Oh, it works. Okay. It works. <laughs> We're going to find Those a way. Those guys know yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> we will find a way. <laughs> Those guys know what I'm yeah. talking about. All the best to all three. Yeah. A pleasure meeting all of you, and yeah. best of luck. Northern Illinois. September September 1. 1st, Thursday September night, September 1st. 1st. Got the numbers already. Thanks to all of Eastern Illinois for joining us here. We'll continue with more. The Ohio Valley Conference Media Day for football continues, presented by Delta Dental.